Today, our focus on Bethlehem, a district that has three major cities, Bethlehem in the middle, Bet Sahur, and Bet Jala on either side, but also has 18 villages and three refugee camps. And today, this little town of Bethlehem, this Bethlehem district, is surrounded and interspersed with Israeli settlements also. Har Homa, otherwise known as Abu Ghanain, Gilo, otherwise known as part of Bejala, and a soon to be completed new settlement in the heart of Bethlehem at Rachel's tomb. The Bethlehem district today is also characterized by a wall and a fence. Some 30 miles of this separation barrier run in, around, and through the little town of Bethlehem. The Bethlehem district also includes roadblocks, settler-only roads, tunnels, flying checkpoints, Israeli military incursions, and the loss of about 17,500 acres that used to belong to Palestinian Muslims and Christians. Some of you who have been on a pilgrimage to Bethlehem, and I've had the privilege of meeting, you know of a young Muslim man by the name of Nadim. Nadim graduated from Bethlehem University um, with a bachelor's degree in business administration. He comes from a little village in the Bethlehem district called Doha. He graduated in December 2004. And on his way to the hospital in Jerusalem, in January, on the 16th of January, he died. He had a heart condition that required special treatment. He was in the Jerusalem hospital two months previous. But on this particular day, January 16th, Nadim was not granted permission to cross the checkpoint. It took eight, eight, eight hours of negotiations with his doctors pleading for him to get permission to cross the checkpoint. Yes, the wall and the occupation, the realities in our little town of Bethlehem. And they define our lives every single day. And they define our deaths also. As I said earlier, the wall defines our life today in Bethlehem. But it was not part of my life just two years. For the first two years of my life in Bethlehem, we had no wall. Oh yeah, I heard about it. I read about it, but it wasn't in my backyard. It was up in the north. Just two years ago, after um, Arafat died and Abu Mazen was elected president for the Palestinian Authority, the moderate Palestinian, just two years ago, that's when the wall was built in my little town of Bethlehem. Since the construction of that wall and around, that goes in and around Bethlehem, everything is different in Bethlehem. 10% of the land was confiscated. 30 miles of this separation barrier run in and through the little town of Bethlehem. Israelis who in former days used to come into Bethlehem from Jerusalem, Israelis, came in to go to restaurants, to buy food, to go shopping. They're not allowed by decree of their own government to enter Bethlehem. Bethlehemites, on the other hand, are not allowed.